Now then, recently Victoria Beckham was left sobbing after missing husband David at Heathrow Airport. Security issues and flights from different terminals meant they weren't able to kiss each other goodbye as David flew off to LA and Victoria boarded her flight to Moscow. Oh, so how important is it, girls, do you reckon, to, to kiss someone goodbye? Carol, you, as I say, you're in the first flushes. You must still be kissing every opportunity. Well, I, no, but I always would, I think. Oh, because, yeah. you know, when you go out, you, you, you don't know. You might just get run over by a bus or something. And then if, you've never see, if you ever see them again... It's a bit harsh. Well, you might. You don't know. But that's a long journey, isn't it? If you're saying goodbye like Victoria and Miss David and he's going on a plane and she's going on a plane, mm. then you'd think, oh, no, I'll never say goodbye. What if the plane no, crashes? No, but life is like, you know, actually, you've got more chance of getting run over, crossing the road outside your house than you have of dying in a plane crash. So mm. I always think... You know, if, if, I, if I were to never see Mark again because he either ran away from me because I'm a nightmare <laughs> or, or, or disappeared, I would go, oh, no, I didn't even kiss him goodbye and I would hate that. So, yeah, yeah we, we never ever... I don't even leave the house You're to go so to the shop without giving are. him a kiss. And he's the same, oh. I know. But you see, I I, when you've it. got... When you're busy, though, I, I, I was working this morning and I came back in and Martin had his hose out, but he was hosing the back passage, you see. <laughs> That's what he was doing, <laughs> And I had to go, and I went and saw him and said, oh, that's brilliant you're doing that, otherwise I'd have to do it. And then I had to go out again, and I thought, I'm not kissing him while he's hosing his back passage, no. and, I, and I went. <laughs> and also, you know, in the mornings, you when you've got the children on the school oh, run, and yeah. God bless him, he, you know, husbands take a back seat when, when you're sort of getting the children out the door and I'm ch bustling them out, tumbling out the door, yeah, and I don't want to go back, I can't. But I do kiss him, he's lovely. I think it's very nice if you've got a man to hose your back passage. Yeah. And I think it's very <laughs> rare these enemies, days. Eh? Yes, because I don't think... I very rarely think that men do that nowadays. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes, <laughs> what I was going to say was... Kiss goodbye. Kiss goodbye. Kiss goodbye. How important yes, is it? Ollie, my little grandson, who's only three, Aww. he gets... He snogs you, you know, like... It <laughs> and goes, Aww. I love you. Anna! <laughs> and I go, Ollie, I love you so much. Don't go, Nana. I come with you. And do you know that is the most heart rendering goodbye you could ever have from anybody? Yeah. I just, it's just, isn't it wonderful? Mm. It's oh, gorgeous. Kiss, kissing her now goodbye should last for, I, you know, even I after so. six years, seven years of marriage, I kissed him goodbye. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, every, <laughs> every day, yeah. No, every day. But that, that's because, I, you know, I like affection. I like to yeah. kiss. And, you know, obviously, Jake's now at this age where it's not really cool to kiss. Kiss me goodbye, mummy, at the school gates, and I'm like, I don't want yeah. to get a kiss, and he's like, kiss you late, mum. And it yeah. kills me. I'm losing my baby, won't kiss me unless we're on our own. Although, I've got to say, talking about airports, once I left him for a week, it was the first week I've ever had to leave him, he was about two and a half, three killed me. And I, got, I came back, and my au pair was um, going to meet me at the, um, at the airport. And I saw this little thing from miles away, and I went, oh, <gasps> and I ran oh. to him, and he ran to me, and he gave me the biggest kiss. And you know what? We both fell on the floor, and we, I didn't care. I didn't care. I was holding him so tight on the floor, rolling around with pure, utter love. That's I couldn't lovely. stop kissing him. Yeah, I'm still that's... the same now. He hates it. <laughs> no, 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 it it's so... It's so, actually, it's really lovely having a boyfriend, someone who cares about you, someone who will, you know, say, give you a kiss goodbye. And for the first time ever, I have to say, in my whole life, when I came back from my holiday, well, when I went up to Bangkok to um, finalise all my birthday party arrangements, I was coming out of the airport and I was on the phone, so I was going, well, I'll be home in a minute, I'll be home. I walked out and he was standing there. Oh! oh he came to meet me. So we had a big snog in front of the in, in front of everybody in the airport. I see that used to happen to me, and I say, oh, and then we had children, and now he say, I says, can't you? I could say, can't you come and pick me up? And he's no match of the days on. Oh, no. oh, oh, you know, that's that's just the things that have happened to me was one, the love of my life was called Arthur, and um, he. I remember he. We had to get on a train, and I got on the train, and he was started to run by the side and he was going, I've got to tell you something, I've got to ask you something. And I went, oh, and I knew he was going to ask me to marry him. And I couldn't get the window down. And I was, <laughs> I was running down the train, I was trying every window and he was going, Sherry, and he'd gone. Oh, and that was it? That was it and he never asked me.
Oh. Did you see him again? No, because he died, didn't he? Oh. A few years later, I know, I know it's sad, but the thing is, why I'm saying, oh. isn't that sad? Because he was waving like that. But you know what? That memory's fantastic for me. Well, Just, at least you yeah. say goodbye. I did say yeah. goodbye, yeah. But it's funny yeah. how you can make a death seem so hilarious, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. But we're going to